Hello people, it's Stooch here and uh, this video I'm going to go over the barrel shifter and how this mess of a thing twerks. So yeah, so in the speed build you saw the main part get built. The 2 decoders, ooh, my phone, oops. The 2 decoders and this main XY decoder thing. So I just wanted to go over something I added. Uh, I added buffers here, I think I didn't show that, maybe, I can't remember. But then I added this thing. This thing is what I had trouble with and I decided just to cut it off the end of what I was uh, editing because it was just fucking, it was really pissing me off and I couldn't get it to work and I realised I'm just retarded. Let me demonstrate why that is needed and this by the way is gen to generate the carry out flag. So when bits are shifted out of this spectrum, oh, this width, I don't know what the fuck that is, but as soon as it gets shifted out, that's considered a carry out because, yeah. So, uh, so let's demonstrate that. Actually, no. First, let's demonstrate with uh, with how a normal decoder would work. So just an FYI, this decoder takes in the same input as this decoder. So let, let's do shift by zero first. So this is just mirroring the original input. Invade though. So as, uh, this is awkward as fuck. So this is one zero one zero one zero one zero. And this is one zero one zero, yeah. So you can see that. So that's all that's doing is shifting by zero. And that's the current state of this this guy, this is zero. Invade decoder. So zero to uh, eight. No, seven. So let's shift once. Let me just get these. Okay, so let's shift one. So that needs to go there. And this needs to be here. Oh no, I'm said I'm going to do it the normal way. Okay, so as you can see that the bit here got shifted out of this width here. So now currently it should be one zero one zero one zero and a carry out. So like normal, if I have a one here, just like this guy turned to zero, this would be here, which generates a correct carry out. Okay, so let's uh, do shift 2. Shift by 2 even. So let's put the same inputs on each side. Actually no, no that won't work. So, so this being the uh, a normal decoder like that one, if it was 2, this would s swap this for, so this would be 1 it'd be like no it's not one anymore it's two so you'd turn this back on and turn this off but as you can see even though this is a obviously had a carry out it's not showing up so let's let's see why so right now as you can see this line here this is a bit 7 so 0 1 2 3 4 7 this is currently turned off and this is indicating that this input is currently on and whichever level this is turned off so this is on 2 is saying that whatever x was has been shifted over by 2 however if this is mirroring whatever, the, uh, if that's mirroring whatever this is doing, then this thinks that this currently is what it's supposed to be at, but it is not. This is a currently going towards bit six, so it's actually not affecting this anymore. So instead, I made this into a unary decoder kind of type of thing so basically what happens here is 
whenever I uh, add incre increase the input it increases the number of bits that I've turned turned it off so like, so let me show you so if I do one so there so that's a one okay that's like any decoder then two it turns two off if I do three it turns three off four it does four six it does yep seven boom so what that means now is that I know that if bit one I mean bit seven has been shifted once which so if I do shift one here and here I know that that's going to generate a carry out I know as well that if bit six which is this bit here has been shifted over twice so let's change this to here I know that bit seven and bit six are the carry out so what I do there is just turn both of these off to allow the output to come on so that's why I needed the unary type of thing alright so that's that I can't explain the thing shit well so that's the best you're gonna get <laughs> oh that was horrible okay oh I checked checked if my mic was on I just shot myself a little bit imagine this, uh, since this is a uh, rotational if I would just wanted this to be a normal shift shifter without rotation all this triangle part is all I need but I want rotational because rotational is fucking sexy as fuck and I'll tell you why after uh, and here it adds an extra diagonal part as you can see that one scales at least because you can only shift one down zero times before there's an underflow Ah, I didn't have an underflow. I just realized. That's gross. I don't care. I don't, I don't care at this point. Actually, no, since it's rotation, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, and bit seven can get shifted down seven times before it gets to bit zero. Zero being this one and seven being that one. So, so yeah, that, so that's that. That's pretty much it, really. Uh, I added the buffers because if I didn't add, add the buffers, this would be. Let me look. So this is one, two. Oh, wait, no. One, two, three. Uh, this needed a repeater for signal strength. So four, five, six, and seven. So the buffer would need to be here. But since I have multiple stages for like the fetch, decode, execute, and write back, I can just put this into the decode stage by adding a buffer between the decoders and the actual logic for the shifting. Which means that I can effectively get a much higher throughput within the same amount of ticks no no I get I just get a better throughput so that's so that's why I did that because now instead of having the buffers need to be some like 15 blocks away from here now this is effectively one two three four five ticks from here which lets me have an extra two ticks before the buffer since this is an 8 tick CPU so that's a whole lot better and it doesn't really change anything because this would have to be decoded anyway and it probably w and this only adds one one two three four ticks to the decode stage which is most likely going to be pr pretty much fine I hope but yeah, but yeah uh, I think that's it. 
next uh, next video I'm gonna go over the ALU stuff because not ALU the instruction set stuff because I've had a lot of swap and cha swaps and changes around and this is I think the final design for the instruction set so these first eight instructions are for the ALU stuff well logic stuff and these last ones are for the program counter branching and memory stuff so yeah but I'll get into that in the next video I'm probably gonna record that like literally right now so yeah uh, so yeah this is a oh forgot to mention this this is an this isn't new I have uh, well it's new for me I this is the first time I've actually tried to make a barrel shifter like this is it because before you saw on the some videos that I made I think I made one actually it's the one I made there was really like dodgy to say the least <laughs> it used multiple shifters instead of just one big unit to do everything in parallel because as you can see all of this is in the same tick so it's all parallel but before there was a segment to do shift it once shift it twice and shift it four times which was sequential or well, this is parallel which is way better because technically this could be one if the bu if the buffer was here if the buffer was right here this could be one two three three ticks if you if you wanted to stretch this bus out instead of having it brought down which I'm probably gonna do because it's a lot more efficient to just stretch out downwards like that but yeah this is a really sexy fucking concept and this is a, I got this off Koyano is he on the server yeah Koyano and Don I can't say his fucking other name but yeah I, I'll probably put them down in the description I did in the uh, speed build speed build uh, video so you should uh, come on the server and check out what they've made because Kai makes a lot of cool shit I don't know about Don <laughs> uh, but yeah this is a I really like this type of barrel shifter right now and it's probably gonna be like the fastest component in my <laughs> CPU but yeah that, that's pretty much it I hope you understood because my explanations are fucking dog shit but yeah hope that helped and uh, yeah next video I'm gonna go over the instruction set